What's up everybody? Today I'd like to talk about three values that you absolutely need to understand if you want to properly expose your shots. Now these three values are your ISO, your shutter speed, and your aperture. So you can basically manipulate these values uh, to change the brightness of your image. Now first let's talk about ISO. So ISO basically refers to how sensitive your camera's sensor is to light. So essentially if you increase the ISO, you're also increasing the brightness of your image. The only problem is that as you increase your ISO, you also increase the amount of noise in your footage. So your footage is going to look uh, a little grainy and just really unprofessional if you start using really high ISO values. Now, the second value you can mess around with is your aperture. Now, aperture is the opening in the lens diaphragm that allows light to enter through it. Let me just simplify it for you. So essentially, every lens has a little hole through which light enters, and your aperture value essentially just determines how big that hole is. Now, the aperture value can be a little confusing. If your aperture value is lower, that means that your aperture is wider. And if your aperture value is larger, well, that means that that hole is actually smaller. So basically, if you have an f1.8 aperture, that means your aperture is really, really wide. On the other hand, if you have something like an f16 aperture, then your aperture is really, really small. Now, the bigger your aperture, obviously you're letting more light in and therefore your image is going to be brighter. As you start increasing that f-stop, your aperture becomes smaller and smaller and therefore less light is allowed to enter through it and your shot becomes darker. Now, what's the trade-off here? Well, the trade-off here is bokeh or background blur. So really wide apertures like f1.8 or 1.4 will give you a ton of background blur or a ton of bokeh. And if you start using really high apertures like f16 or f22 or something like that, then everything in your frame will be in focus. So if you want your image to be dark but you still want a ton of background blur, well then that's going to be a little tough. And on the other hand, if you want your image to be really bright, but you don't want any background blur and you want everything to be in focus, then that is also going to be a little tough. Which is where the third value comes into play. And this is your shutter speed. Now your shutter speed determines how long light hits the sensor. So if you have a shutter speed of, I don't know, one over 60, that means that light is going to hit the sensor for 1 60th of a second. Or if your shutter speed is 1 second, then that means that that shutter is going to open for 1 second and light is going to hit your sensor for 1 entire second. Now obviously if your shutter speed is slower, so if your shutter is open for 1 second, 2 seconds, or 3 seconds, and so on, well then you're going to get a much brighter image because that shutter has been open for a longer time and light has been allowed to hit the sensor for a longer period of time. And if you increase your shutter speed, well then your shot gets darker. Now the trade-off here is motion blur. So essentially if you use a really slow shutter speed, well then you're going to get a ton of motion blur. So if you have moving objects in the frame, they're all going to be blurred out. On the other hand, if you use a really fast shutter speed, well then even if your subject is moving really, really fast, it's still going to be tack sharp. Now let me talk about shutter speed for videos. So for videos, they have this thing called a 180 degree shutter rule. It's, I'm not exactly sure what it's called. I think it's called the 180 degree shutter rule or some, something like that. But basically, all that means is that your shutter speed should be double your frame rate. So if you're shooting at uh, something like 24 frames per second, well then your shutter speed should be double that, and it should be 1 over 48 of a second. But most cameras don't offer a 1 over 48 shutter speed, so you're gonna have to settle for 1 over 50. It's called a rule, but it's not exactly a rule, it's more of a guideline. So basically you should generally stick to it, you should generally keep your shutter speed double your frame rate 
but then you don't have to and you can even use a shutter speed that's a bit slower or a bit faster because that's going to give you a different kind of look but in most cases if you want your footage to look natural then your shutter speed should be double your frame rate so yeah that's about it for this video hopefully it should help you understand how iso aperture and shutter speed works and hopefully you'll be able to properly expose your photos and videos from now onwards so yeah thanks for watching if you liked it give this video a like consider subscribing to my channel and you know share this video with your friends and hopefully i'll see you next time Oh, 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 oh,